Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide and the first of two different vlogs that I'm going to be filming today here from Towen in North Wales. Two amusement parks that I've never visited before, never covered on the channel and I thought you know what, following on with the theme of supporting as many different amusement parks and attractions as possible, I thought you know what, I'm going to come down here, the sun's kind of shining, it keeps peeking through the clouds and come and check out both of these different amusement parks and share them with you guys. So yes, I'm in Towen in North Wales, a few miles down the coast from Rill, uh, to be honest, spent a lot of time in Rill as a kid, but never came down here to these two amusement parks. So they've both got a small selection of rides. This will be the first vlog from Knightley's Fun Fair. Uh, you can see the Fun Fair sign just there behind me. And then I'm going to be heading round the corner. It's literally less than a mile away uh, to the other amusement park that I'm going to be visiting today. And of course, that'll be the next vlog on Theme Park Worldwide. So welcome to the video. Got the chest mounted GoPro, going to get some on ride footage and check out the various different rides that are on offer at this park. So first we'll have a little look at the uh, ride list just over here and some prizes as well, just so we can get an idea on the costs here at Knightley's Fun Fair. Spin you guys around this way. So of course you've got all the social distancing uh, markers here as well. And here on the right hand side, we can see the ride prices. So to be honest, seems pretty reasonable. We've got a Walter, which is two pounds, Sizzler, two pounds, uh, Extreme Machine, that's also the same price. Freakout's two pound 50, um, Extreme Orbiter uh, on there as well, that's two pounds. For all the Dodgems, there's three pound per car. Uh, the most expensive ride, it seems. There's a fun house and also some children's rides that are one pound 50. As you can see on the right hand side here, looks like you can get an e-card uh, with various different special offers. You buy like £40 and you get £15 free uh, and a few different offers, uh, what they do there as well. But uh, yeah, welcome to Knightley's Fun Fair. Like I say, never filmed a vlog down here, never visited, but thought, you know what? It's worth coming down here to come and see a bit of a classic that I've not seen for many, many years. They've just got one roller coaster here. It's a Zamperla powered coaster uh, where you sit in a dragon as the train. Uh, and that's located just over there in the far corner. In fact, we'll head over there shortly and I'll take you on for the ride. As you can see, they've got some go-karts here as well. These look pretty good, don't they? All the Welsh flags flying proud all around here. But yeah, I assume there's a little tokens booth. Go and buy some tokens and take them over to the ride. So I moved a little bit closer there now just so you can see it a little better. Here it is, the Zamperla Power Coaster. And what's quite interesting with this Dragon Coaster here, as much as I've never been to this amusement park before, I've already been on this ride, and I tell you what, it's bringing back pretty fond memories. Now, of course, I use a website known as the Roller Coaster Database, which tells me all the different roller coasters out there in the world. Fantastic database, really, really good. I actually met the guy that runs the website over at IAPA last year in Orlando. Fantastic guy, and he documents all the different roller coasters that are opening around the world, that have already operated, and of course, that already exist. And uh, yeah, of course, I looked on there, checked my Excel spreadsheet, where I count the roller coasters that I ride around the world. And I've already seen that I've been on this. It was actually at Butlins in Skegness until 2005. And then, of course, made its way up here. So yeah, I've already been on it before. And I'll tell you what, it's bringing back some amazing childhood memories for me. When I looked on the database and saw this was here, I thought I've definitely got to come down and relive some of them childhood memories from Butlins. But yeah, gonna head on to there shortly. Seems quite reasonable price, it's £1.50 for that. Anyway, I'm gonna go and uh, buy some tokens now over at the booth. We'll get the GoPro on, and let's get on some rides here at Knightley's Fun Fair. So the system what they've got in place here is that they've got various different booths around the park, and then you need to buy one of these fun cards for a pound, but that is refundable. So uh, once you've finished here, you take your card back in a good condition, and then you get the one pound back. So that's completely fair enough. Just topped up 10 pounds for now. Might need to put a few more credits on, but I've just noticed that the dodgems aren't actually open. There's a technical issue with those. So I thought I don't want to put too much on, because it clearly says that they can't refund your money once you've put it on. But you do get the one pound back for your uh, getting the card at the end so that's completely fair enough tell you what it's quite warm now sun's out let's go on the uh, dragon coaster and i'll take you on with the gopro off we go then from what i remember when this was at butlins that was quite a bit of a kick Whoa. yeah it does have quite a kick to it actually Simple layout, two helixes joined together, figure of eight. Really nice low 
location for this park. We can actually see the other park I'm going to just over there. Hey, train's going past as well, love it. Dragon Coaster. Well that brought back some right childhood memories from all the trips I had as a kid with my parents to Bullins in Skegness. And talking to my parents, if you haven't seen it already, check out the vlog we uploaded a few days ago from Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach. It was Charlotte's first time there, so loads of funny reactions to her going on some of the rides for the first time, including that classic roller coaster and the three drop special log flume. And along with that as well, my parents came along and I uh, got them on some roller coasters, so make sure you check out the vlog. Uh, but yeah, that was great. It was only £1.50 there for the little dragon coaster. Seems like all the kids' rides are £1.50, which I like to think is a good value attraction. Really good value indeed. Anyway, up next, I'm going on Oblivion, as you can see just behind me. KM3 Freakouts, really enjoy these rides, and it looks like we get quite a good cycle from what I've seen from watching it just. So uh, it's quite a small park, this, but yeah, you can see the uh, other attraction that I'm going to be going to, uh, which isn't too far away at all. You can see a booster and a ferris wheel. So I think that's going to be a little bit bigger than this one. I'll probably be here for about an hour maximum, then I'm going to walk over to the other park. But uh, yeah, let's go on Oblivion. You can see it in action there just behind me, and I'll take you on with the GoPro. we go then it's time to ride oblivion and not oblivion at alton towers oblivion here at nightlies in town <laughs> oh, i nearly uh, hit my feet on the basket then there's a loose items basket down there in the middle <laughs> hey. yeah it looks like quite a decent cycle thought it was running longer at first but i've just watched it off right still looks like a couple of minutes two pound fifty a ride oh great views there's the sea over there. Woo! Way! Way! <laughs> we got some screams coming from over there. <laughs> Woo! Long into oblivion. That's not a BM dive machine. <laughs> It's good. Woo! So yeah, we're right on the seafront. Lots of caravan parks around here, it seems. Hey. Nice intense spin now. Here we go. Good cycle. <laughs> well worth two pound fifty. Woo! It's a longer cycle than the one just. Maybe the operator's a fan of the channel or something. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Sun's shining, it's lovely, I was expecting that. <laughs> it just keeps going. And there we go. That was brilliant. That was about twice as long as the cycle before. That was awesome. Maybe the guy saw I was recording and was like, yeah, let's keep it going. That was brilliant. 
Well, £2.50 was an absolute bargain for that. What a steal. Fantastic cycle. Really nice position for that as well. Swinging out over towards the water. Sun was shining. Can't complain. £2.50. It was a three minute and 20 second cycle that was. So yeah, I thought that was really, really good value. It's great down here. £2 now. I'm going on the extreme orbiter that we can see there just behind me. So I haven't seen this going. So let's see what cycle we're going to get on here. Let's go. Right then, here we go on Xtreme. Not really having to wait long to get on the rides here today. Don't get me wrong, there's quite a lot of people here, but it seems like there's more families going on the family attractions. Straight in nice and quick on this Xtreme. Let's see if it is Xtreme. <laughs> yeah, Oblivion was really good, just love that. Woo! So like I mentioned, just the dodgems are unfortunately closed. Looks like they're doing a bit of replacement work on some of the metal grills, of course, that power the dodgems located up in the ceiling. So yeah, I don't think that's going to be open on this fine afternoon. straight into it on this extreme went on one of these of course just the other day southport pleasure land went quite slow at first then it got going but i think this is really on about a cycle i'd rather go straight into it there slow down a bit now and then i imagine we're going to go for it again hopefully what an interesting location with this part here we go uh, right next door to a railway line really interesting but it's a seafront park Hey! Oh, this is good. Woo! Certainly seems like a popular area to have two amusement parks within about a mile of each other. Not even that. the cycle that was good great cycle on there and brilliant value for two pounds as well can't complain at that two pounds for about a two minute and 20 second cycle over there on the extreme like i said i preferred that how it was straight into it then it slowed down a little bit and then we really went for it at the end instead of starting off slow and just building up it's quite a nice how they did that there with the cycle uh, anyway up next i'm going on the sizzler that we can see just here off to the side we're going to give that one a go literally going from ride to ride like i say it's probably an hour maximum here today then i'll head straight down to the next park which is not too far away at all but it's just loading up the cycle so let's go on the sizzler Right then, here we go, on the Sizzler. What a tune we're getting on here, love it. Really nice atmosphere down here. I feel there's a great mix of thrill and family rides at this park. Straight into it, woo! I must say, they got some nice padding on some of these rides. It was the same over there on Oblivion all padded on the restraints look at the padding on this lovely Woo. oh it's a good fast one i don't think my mum would enjoy this one of course i took her on the one at great yarmouth pleasure beach and she loved it i think this would be a bit fast for her though like i say check out that vlog it's comedy gold here on theme park worldwide Woo. Here we go. Scream if you want to go faster. <laughs> oh, I 
It's a good fast one, this is. Oh, we're going for it on here. Love it. Slowing down. There we go. That was really good. I enjoyed that. Great cycle yet again. So it's sped up again, and now we're going the other way. <laughs> hey. Get some different forces now. Brilliant. I'll tell you what, I'm glad it's got this padding now. Nice and comfy. There we go, that was great. Nice little bonus there at the end. Fantastic. Great cycle there on the Sizzler, especially for two pounds. The fact we were going for about three and a half minutes, good forward cycle, and then went the other way. Absolutely fantastic and really good value. Anyway, up next, I'm going on the Miami. Then after that, I'll go on the Walser, both of which are two pounds a ride. So yeah, I'm going to take you on the uh, Miami next. i tell you what, it's a small side they've got here, but they're certainly crammed in quite a few different rides. So yeah, let's go over on this uh, Miami that's kind of crammed in over to the side just there. Right then, here we go, on the Miami. Two pounds a ride. That's pretty standard fun fair pricing, really, if you go to a traveling fair. You just meant to pay about two pounds for a Miami. Or an earth shaker, whatever you want to call them. Hey. Yeah, if you look in the distance, you can see a Ferris wheel and a booster. That's where I'm going next. After I've done my final ride here, which will be the waltzers. What's quite interesting is, and what I'm quite surprised about, is in terms of social distancing, as much as there's markers in the queue line, we are sitting next to other people on rides here. So I've got people both sides of me. Really quite surprised about that. Especially on something what's quite close like this. Obviously on the other rides it's not really been an issue because I've been far from other people. I've got my own car and obviously on the Dragon Roller Coaster that was spread out quite well on there. Not too intense this Miami actually. You get a great view though. Over to the left you can see down to Rill. Of course Rill used to have its own amusement park. Used to have the Pepsi Cola loop down there when I was a kid. That used to be great. There was a water shoot down there. All that's gone now, sadly. Not a lot left in real. Oh. All better teasing, better holding at the top. Hey, here we go. Looking over in the distance, it seems like the dodgems are back on. Can't believe that they were replacing parts of the roof. That all the metal grill structure. So I'll go and check those out. I don't know if they look that fast though, so I might not bother. But we'll go and see. Good ride there on the Miami. Like I say, it's a shame about the social distancing on there. But here we go onto the Walters then now, two pound a ride. We've actually got three people standing round giving us a spin. So I think we're going to get quite a good one on this. I've just seen quite a funny sign, look at that. There you go. <laughs> Put it how it is. This ride stops in emergencies only. Crying is not one. So here we go, let's go and get on, have a spin on my last ride here. 
Here we go then on the Walter. Like I say, it was two pounds to ride. What I am quite pleased with is seeing the fact that they've actually, were cleaning down all of the seats and the bar just disinfecting it all, which is good. Here we go, woo! Oh yeah. Fantastic cycle there over on the Walsers. I was on there about five and a half minutes. And of course, they had a few of the guys actually round there spinning around the Walter cars, which was certainly fantastic. I made it pretty intense at points. Not the most intense Walter I've ever been on, but it's certainly up there. It was really good to uh, have a ride on there and fantastic value at two pounds as well. Um, but yeah, I just had a little look at the Dodge and was putting a bit of off-ride footage there. They don't look anything special at all, so I'm gonna give those a miss. Um, but yeah, what a really nice little amusement park and a great location. Of course, you've got the Funhouse over at the back there as well. Uh, there's a little uh, kids train ride, trampolines, a couple of small spinning rides, and these go-karts here as well. But yeah, quite a nice collection of rides, not uh, forgetting the little uh, canoes rides just there as well with the TP. Yeah, what a nice location for the park, right down here on the seafront. I say seafront, there's not really many other attractions down here, it seems. It's mostly just, um, well, grass and fields all the way along the front just here. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you it from up here on the bridge because you get a great view overlooking the park. Had a really good visit there to Knightley's Fun Park. Really good value, the sun was shining. Yeah, it's a really nice afternoon now. I mean, I was prepared for rain. Um, but yeah, it's actually quite a nice afternoon for going on some rides. What a great little park, fantastic value. Most of the rides are two pounds. And if you just want to come and get the coaster, that's only one pound 50, um, which is a bargain really. Um, but yeah, really nice little visit. Great atmosphere in there. Um, crowds are pumping in there now. I believe it's open until 10 o'clock tonight, which is quite surprising. Didn't think it would be open that late. Um, but yeah, it was a really, really nice visit there um, to Knightley just to go and check it out and see it all and of course bring back their memories as a kid uh, going to Butlins in Skegness and riding on that little dragon coaster great to get back on there that's definitely the highlight of the park for me uh, but I enjoyed the other rides Oblivion was really good nice cycle on there same for the Sizzler the Walser was good yeah overall it was a really nice visit to that park anyway I'm walking it was literally about 12 minutes it's saying on Google Maps in this direction then we take a left so I just walked straight down from the park take a left turn down here at the jump and yeah, I'll make it to the next park, which is uh, Tia Prince uh, Family Park. So we're going to head down there and uh, give that one a go and see what it's like. So that'll be the next vlog coming up tomorrow uh, here on Theme Park Worldwide as I continue just this day that I've had in Wales. It's a random Welsh day to come here. Uh, the story is I actually went to a local castle uh, nearby that's rumoured uh, to be used as the filming location for this year's I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. So I went there and then I thought, well, it's perfect really. I did a video for Adventure Show on my second channel. Check it out if you've not seen it I went there and I thought it's ideal I can come and do the two these two amusement parks so here we go come and join me down at Tier Prince that'll be the next vlog coming up tomorrow from me Sean Sandbrook that means it's time to cue those credits see you in the next vlog